The Italian High Renaissance, spanning the late 15th and early 16th centuries, was defined by the extraordinary contributions of three polymaths, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Raphael. These individuals exemplified the Renaissance ideal of versatility and excellence across multiple disciplines. Michelangelo's mastery extended from sculpture and painting to architecture, while Leonardo da Vinci's genius encompassed art, science, and engineering. Raphael, despite his short life, 37, left an indelible mark through his masterful paintings and frescoes. Their collective works, including iconic pieces like the Sistine Chapel ceiling, the Mona Lisa, and the Raphael rooms in the Vatican, not only revolutionized artistic techniques, but also embodied the period's fusion of art, science, and philosophy. The legacy of these three masters continues to influence Western art and thought, serving as a testament to the boundless potential of human creativity and intellect. Before we explore Michelangelo's renowned achievements in painting, it's essential to recognize his unparalleled genius as a sculptor, which laid the foundation for his later monumental commissions, such as the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Two of his most iconic sculptures, the David, 1501-1504, and the Pietà, 1498-1499, demonstrate his mastery of marble and his deep understanding of human anatomy and emotion. The David, originally standing in front Florence's Palazzo della Signoria, captures the tense psychological moment just before David confronts Goliath, with its imposing 17-foot height and detailed portrayal of human form. Now housed in the Galleria dell'Accademia, this sculpture remains a powerful symbol of human strength, courage, and contemplation. Equally moving is Michelangelo's Pietà, housed in St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, where the tender image of the Virgin Mary cradling the lifeless body of Christ conveys an intimate, emotional depth that was unprecedented in earlier sculptures. Michelangelo's genius lay in his ability to transform cold, lifeless marble into sculptures that radiated profound emotion, capturing the deepest human feelings of sorrow, tension, and triumph. Michelangelo's ability to infuse marble with a sense of inner turmoil and psychological complexity, whether in the tension of David's impending battle or the sorrow of Mary's loss, set a new standard for Renaissance sculpture. His meticulous study of human anatomy and emotion translated not only into breathtaking realism, but also into an exploration of the psychological, making his works timeless expressions of the human condition. Before we explore Michelangelo's renowned achievements in painting, it's essential to recognize his unparalleled genius as a sculptor, which laid the foundation for his later monumental commissions, such as the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Two of his most iconic sculptures, the David, 1501-1504, and the Pietà, 1498-1499, demonstrate his mastery of marble and his deep understanding of human anatomy and emotion. The David, originally standing in front Florence's Palazzo della Signoria, captures the tense psychological moment just before David confronts Goliath, with its imposing 17-foot height and detailed portrayal of human form. Now housed in the Galleria dell'Accademia, this sculpture remains a powerful symbol of human strength, courage, and contemplation. Equally moving is Michelangelo's Pietà, housed in St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, where the tender image of the Virgin Mary cradling the lifeless body of Christ conveys an intimate, emotional depth that was unprecedented in earlier sculptures. Michelangelo's genius lay in his ability to transform cold, lifeless marble into sculptures that radiated profound emotion capturing the deepest human feelings of sorrow, tension, and triumph. Michelangelo's ability to infuse marble with a sense of inner turmoil and psychological complexity, whether in the tension of David's impending battle or the sorrow of Mary's loss, set a new standard for Renaissance sculpture. His meticulous study of human anatomy and emotion translated not only into breathtaking realism, but also into an exploration of the psychological making his works timeless expressions of the human condition. The Sistine Chapel stands as a pinnacle of Renaissance art, showcasing Michelangelo's unparalleled mastery of fresco painting and human anatomy. His iconic scenes, such as the creation of Adam and the expulsion from Eden, demonstrate exceptional realism and emotional depth, bringing biblical narratives to life with unprecedented vividness. This powerful moment, 
with its dramatic use of light and shadow, portrays human anatomy with an unprecedented realism, making the figures seem alive, even from 70 feet below. The restoration of Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling in the 1980s and 1990s was one of the most ambitious and controversial art conservation projects in history. Over centuries, smoke from candles, incense and pollution had dulled the vibrant colours of the frescoes, obscuring Michelangelo's original vision. The cleaning revealed vivid and intense colours that had been hidden for nearly 500 years, transforming how we perceive the masterpiece today. However, this process sparked debate among art historians and restorers, with some arguing that the removal of certain layers, potentially including Michelangelo's intended varnish or finishing touches, that may have altered the artist's intended look. The stark before and after images from the restoration show the dramatic difference, but also raise questions about how much of the discoloration was environmental damage versus Michelangelo's own artistic intent. Despite these debates, the restoration provided a fresh look at Michelangelo's genius, allowing visitors to experience the ceiling's colors as they likely appeared in the 16th century. A true, awe-inspiring masterpiece of a virtuoso. Leonardo da Vinci's sketchbooks exemplify the epitome of Renaissance polymathy, seamlessly blending art and science. His anatomically precise drawings, such as the Vitruvian Man and studies of human musculature and fetal development, demonstrate an unparalleled attention to detail and a deep understanding of human anatomy. Beyond biology, Leonardo's inventive genius shines through in his conceptual designs for flying machines, which predated modern aviation by centuries. These notebooks, filled with mathematical observations and innovative sketches, reveal a mind driven by insatiable curiosity and a desire to comprehend the world's complexities. From the mechanics of flight to the intricacies of the human body, Leonardo's work continues to inspire, serving as a testament to the power of interdisciplinary thinking and the enduring legacy of Renaissance ideals. Leonardo da Vinci is perhaps most famous for his masterful painted portrayals of the human form, both in religious works like The Virgin and Child with Saint Anne, and iconic portraits such as the Mona Lisa. In these works, Leonardo's attention to psychological depth is unparalleled, capturing subtle emotions and expressions that give his subjects a lifelike quality. His meticulous use of single-point perspective enhances the realism, with landscapes that gently recede into the background, creating a sense of depth and space that was revolutionary for its time. Leonardo also employed a technique called sfumato, a delicate blending of colors that creates soft transitions between light and shadow, eliminating harsh lines and giving his paintings an atmospheric, dreamlike quality. In the Mona Lisa, you can see this in the soft contours around her eyes and smile, as well as in the hazy, otherworldly landscape behind her. This painterly style, which blends reality with idealism, lends both mystery and serenity to his subjects, solidifying Leonardo's reputation as one of the greatest painters of all time. Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper, 1495-98, is a masterpiece that exemplifies the artist's genius in blending technical precision with profound emotional depth. Painted on the refectory wall of Santa Maria delle Grazie in Milan, this iconic work employs single-point perspective to draw the viewer's focus to Christ at the center, while simultaneously capturing the dramatic reactions of the disciples to his announcement of betrayal. Despite challenges with its experimental medium and historical damage, the mural's enduring significance lies in Leonardo's ability to infuse the biblical narrative with psychological complexity and symbolic nuance. The artist's meticulous attention to detail, from the subtle identification of Judas to the expressive gestures of each disciple, creates a compelling visual narrative that continues to captivate viewers. This harmonious integration of mathematical precision, narrative depth, and spiritual symbolism solidifies The Last Supper as a pinnacle achievement in Western art history. Raphael, 1483 to 1520, the third member of our Renaissance polymath triumvirate, was a master of both painting and architecture, with his contributions to the design of St. Peter's Basilica showcasing his architectural skill. However, it is his painted works, particularly his Madonnas, 
that have made him one of the most celebrated artists of the Renaissance. Raphael's Madonna and Child compositions are masterpieces of tenderness and emotional depth, portraying the bond between mother and child with a lifelike sensitivity that was revolutionary at the time. His precise brushwork, vibrant use of color, and ability to capture human warmth and expression made these religious scenes not only devotional works, but also universally relatable depictions of maternal love. Raphael's The School of Athens, 1509-11, stands as a quintessential masterpiece of the High Renaissance, executed as part of his commission to decorate the Vatican Papal Apartments. This monumental fresco exemplifies Renaissance ideals by depicting an assemblage of ancient Greek philosophers, scientists, and mathematicians in a grand architectural setting. Cantered around the figures of Plato and Aristotle, the composition skillfully employs linear perspective and architectural elements to create a sense of depth and grandeur. Raphael's mastery is evident in his ability to convey intellectual discourse through the dynamic poses and interactions of the figures. The inclusion of Raphael's self-portrait among these revered thinkers subtly asserts the artist's place in this intellectual lineage. The School of Athens not only showcases Raphael's technical brilliance, but also encapsulates the humanist spirit of the Renaissance, celebrating the pursuit of knowledge and the revival of classical learning. The Italian Renaissance marked a pivotal era in Western music, with Florence's Florentine Camerata at the forefront of innovation. This period saw the birth of opera, blending Greek mythology with music, and the evolution of polyphony and new instrumental forms. Composers like Giovanni Gabrielli and Claudio Monteverdi exemplified the era's musical triumphs. Gabrielli's Venetian polychoral style, utilizing the unique acoustics of San Marco Basilica, influenced composers across Europe. Monteverdi, a master of both sacred and secular music, significantly advanced the expressiveness of composition, particularly in opera. These composers, among others, not only shaped Renaissance music, but also laid the groundwork for the Baroque period, demonstrating the Renaissance's profound impact on the trajectory of Western classical music. Niccolò Machiavelli, 1469-1527, is one of the most influential thinkers of the Renaissance, known for his pragmatic and often controversial views on power and leadership. His most famous work, The Prince, written in 1513, is a guide for rulers on how to maintain control over their states, even if it means using deceit, manipulation, or cruelty. This perspective, where the ends justify the means, earned him a reputation for promoting political cunning and ruthlessness. The term Machiavellian has since come to describe any strategy that prioritizes power and self-interest over ethics or morality, symbolizing a leader who uses deception and manipulation to achieve their goals. Machiavelli's work was so radical that it was banned by the Catholic Church and he was condemned as a teacher of immoral political practices. However, modern interpretations often reappraise his ideas as being a realistic reflection of the political instability and power struggles of the time. His philosophy highlights the harsh realities of leadership and governance, making The Prince a seminal text in the field of political science. Giorgio Vasari, 1511-1574, was a quintessential Renaissance polymath whose contributions to art history and architecture and have left an indelible mark on Western culture. As the author of The Lives of the Most Eminent Painters, Sculptors and Architects, Vasari pioneered art historical writing, coining the term Renaissance and providing invaluable insights into the lives and works of his contemporaries. His architectural legacy is exemplified by the Vasari Corridor in Florence, an innovative elevated passageway connecting the Palazzo Vecchio to the Pitti Palace. This structure not only served a practical purpose for the Medici family, but also houses an impressive collection of artworks, including numerous self-portraits from Renaissance masters. Vasari's dual role as both chronicler and creator of Renaissance art and architecture solidifies his position as a pivotal figure in the cultural history of Florence and the broader Italian Renaissance. The Renaissance was a period of boundless curiosity, not only in the arts, but also in science, navigation, and our understanding of the cosmos. Italian explorers like Christopher Columbus and Amerigo Vespucci 
were at the forefront of expanding Europe's knowledge of the world. Columbus, from Genoa, famously set sail in 1492, reaching the shores of the New World, though it is now recognized that the Vikings had been there centuries earlier. Amerigo Vespucci, a Florentine mariner, followed with his voyages to Brazil and the West Indies in the early 1500s, and it was his detailed descriptions that led to the naming of the Americas. These explorers challenged the geographical knowledge of their time and set in motion the age of exploration, opening new trade routes, exchanging ideas, and reshaping European understanding of the globe. In the realm of science, Galileo Galilei revolutionized humanity's view of the universe with his invention of the telescope in 1609. Galileo's discoveries, including the moons of Jupiter and the phases of Venus, confirmed the heliocentric theory, the idea that the Earth revolves around the Sun, challenging centuries of established belief. This shift in understanding not only redefined astronomy, but also paved the way for the scientific revolution. Together, Columbus, Vespucci, and Galileo represent the spirit of the Renaissance, a thirst for knowledge that pushed boundaries and fundamentally altered how we understand our world, both here on Earth and in the cosmos. The spirit of invention and exploration during the Renaissance not only expanded Europe's geographical horizons, but also led to the reshaping of global understanding. Amerigo Vespucci, voyages to the New World in the early, helped establish that these newly discovered lands were part of a separate continent, and in 1507, the German cartographer Martin Waldseemuller first labelled these regions America, in honour of Vespucci's contributions. This marked a pivotal moment in the history of exploration, as maps of the world began to reflect the reality of these vast, uncharted lands beyond Europe, altering the way people viewed the globe. Exploration during the Renaissance didn't only impact geography, it also influenced cultural exchange. Thus, the Renaissance wasn't just an era of intellectual and artistic development in Europe, but a time of global exchange, sparking innovations in both exploration and cultural expression. The Italian Renaissance was one of the most pivotal moments in European history, fundamentally altering the trajectory of civilization and laying the groundwork for the modern world. It was a period marked by unparalleled achievements in art, literature, science, and philosophy. At its core was humanism, a movement that emphasized the rediscovery of ancient Greco-Roman ideas and placed the individual at the center of intellectual and creative pursuits. The Renaissance acted as a bridge between the medieval and modern worlds, facilitating a profound shift in societal structures, thinking, and cultural practices. With the rise of humanism, Renaissance thinkers sought to revive the classical teachings of the ancient world, placing new importance on the study of philosophy, literature, and the arts. This interest in classicism and the exploration of ancient texts inspired a cultural explosion that reshaped intellectual and creative thought across Europe. Moreover, the Renaissance sparked an expansion of the world, both geographically and intellectually. This period was marked by advancements in exploration, with figures like Columbus and Vespucci discovering new lands, while scientific inquiry flourished with innovators like Galileo. The Renaissance world was one that increasingly questioned established norms and sought to expand the boundaries of knowledge. This inquisitiveness set the stage for the scientific revolution and the age of exploration, bringing Europe into contact with new cultures and ideas and fundamentally changing its understanding of the world. To summarize, one of the defining features of the Renaissance was the rise of humanism, a movement that focused on the potential of the individual and the study of classical antiquity. Writers and poets like Dante and Boccaccio use these ideas to explore the human experience in their works, which continue to resonate today. This era also saw the birth of modern banking and finance, where the Medici family pioneered new financial systems that transformed commerce and trade across Europe. Neoclassicism in architecture with its revival of Roman and Greek elements, reshaped cities like Florence and Venice, establishing a new standard for beauty and design. The Renaissance also witnessed an explosion of creativity in painting, sculpture, and music. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo transformed the visual arts with their mastery of perspective, anatomy, and emotion. 
the era's achievements in invention and exploration pushed the boundaries of human knowledge. With figures like Galileo making groundbreaking scientific discoveries, and explorers like Vespucci and Columbus expanding the known world. In conclusion, the Renaissance was a catalyst for transformation in almost every aspect of human endeavor, art, science, philosophy, exploration, and beyond. Its enduring impact on our modern world cannot be overstated, as the intellectual and creative achievements of the Renaissance continue to inform the ways we think and create today. From our universities to our cultural institutions, the legacy of the Renaissance is still very much alive, demonstrating that the ideas and innovations of this period remain as relevant as ever. Thank you.